J.D. Vance, Trump's vice presidential running mate, isn't phased by Democrats calling him weird. Can you believe they're calling him weird? In fact, J.D. welcomes it. In this video, we get into the hilarious backlash this caused for the Democrats on social media, where conservatives were tweeting out all the freak shows that Democrats support and participate in, reminding them that they called J.D. Vance weird. It's hilarious. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Rich, your antidote to the daily onslaught of radical woke Marxist propaganda. So J.D. Vance, our vice presidential hopeful, is making headlines again, but this time it's not for what you'd expect. Democrats are calling him weird, but J.D. seems to wear that label like a badge of honor. So what's going on here? Apparently, Governor Tim Waltz of Minnesota, who is himself a potential vice presidential pick for Kamala Harris, went on to Jake Tapper's State of the Union show on CNN to talk about the viral use of the word weird to describe former President Donald Trump and his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. So here's Waltz talking with Tapper about how he was the one who started calling them weird. So you've gotten some attention this week for calling Trump and Vance and Republicans in general weird. Uh, and I, I think that you're the one that set this tone. Uh, and there's this shift. The Harris campaign seems to be following your lead, echoing this language. Why do you think weird is a more effective attack line against Trump than what Democrats have been done previously, which is argue that he's, he's a, an existential threat to democracy? I would say because it's claiming that Trump is the one who's an existential threat to democracy was just too outlandish and nobody believed it. Yeah, and it, it's an observation on this. And, I, you know, being a school teacher, I see a lot of things. But my, my point on this was is people kept talking about, look, Donald Trump is going to put women's lives at risk. That's 100 percent true. No, he's not. Donald Trump is potentially going to end constitutional liberties that we have end voting. I, I do believe like like you, you love how the Democrats always say these things. He's going to be a threat to our democracy. He's going to uh, take away people's freedoms. But they never say, like, how he's planning to do it. Is Trump is not planning to do that. All those things are a real possibility, but it gives him way too much power. Listen to the guy. He's talking about Hannibal Lecter and you know, shocking sharks. And just No, he's not. He, he's not on the campaign trail talking about stuff like that. So stop it. Just whatever crazy thing pops into his mind. And I thought we just gave him way too much credit. And I think one of the things is, is when you just ratchet down some of the, uh, you, you know, the scariness or whatever, and just name it what it is, I, I got to tell you, Jake, my observation on this is, have you ever seen the guy laugh? That seems very weird to me that, a, that an adult can go through six and a half years of being in the public eye. If he has laughed, it's at someone, not with someone. That, that is weird behavior. And I, I don't think you call it. Laughing is weird behavior. This is the guy who may be the vice presidential pick to the giggler, to Kamala Harris, who has a laughing problem who laughs at anything. You could say shoehorn. And she, <laughs> I mean, she cackles while she laughs. You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, somebody said that, and it actually was my pants on the debate stage. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> rich but anything else it, it is simply what we're observing i mean if you want to talk about weird that's weird <laughs> so democrats tried to attack jd vance by labeling him as weird oh the horror but instead of cowering conservatives flipped the script you see they were highlighting the democrats own peculiar antics okay so before we get into the twitter frenzy of conservatives who just absolutely destroyed the narrative of the Democrats saying that J.D. Vance is weird. Here is a video of Vance responding to Kamala questioning his loyalty to the United States. And I think it was this response, which is very powerful, that caused them to start saying he's weird. I saw the other day 
Kamala Harris questioned my loyalty to this country. That's the word she used, loyalty. And it's an interesting word, simplify, loyalty. Because there is no greater sign of disloyalty to this country than what Kamala Harris has done at our southern border. Yep, agreed. And I'd like to ask the vice president, what has she done to question my loyalty to this country? I served in the United States Marine Corps. I went to Iraq for this country. You know how powerful this is? It's great. I built a business for this country. And my running mate took a bullet for this country. So my question to Kamala Harris is, what the hell have you done to question our loyalty to the United States of America? Yep. Nothing. She's done nothing. And the answer, my friends, is nothing. So let's send a message to the media. Let's send a message to Kamala Harris. Let's send a message to every hardworking patriot from Minnesota across the country. We are ready to have President Donald J. Trump back, and we're going to work our tails off to make sure it happens. God bless you all. Thank you. And thank you for having me, Minnesota. A great state. That was great, wasn't it? I think... It was that response to Kamala by J.D. Vance that caused the Democrats to come up with the childish comeback of J.D. is weird. (laughs) Here's Kingsley Wilson saying J.D. Vance is weird. That's a bunch of pictures of Joe Biden sniffing little children's hair. That's not weird. Okay, so here's Libs of TikTok. She chimed in with J.D. Vance is weird. Okay, And here you're about to be lectured. By one of the weirdos. I don't know who needs this reminder, but apparently a lot of y'all do. I am not a man. I am not assigned male at birth. I am an assigned female at birth, femme, non-binary person. If there is a choice between a man and a bear, I'm the one that gets to choose. Also, so it's not a choice. Stop fucking saying, oh my God, I would totally choose the bear over you just because I'm standing up for liberation. Katie Vance is weird, okay? right? You don't get to choose between me and the bear. Okay? <laughs> I get to choose. You don't get to choose between me and the bear. Okay? Oh my goodness. All right. So Sarah Carter tweeted out, JD Vance is weird on the freakazoid Sam Brinton. Do you remember him? Or they? Sam Brinton worked for the Biden administration, was a deputy assistant secretary of spent fuel and waste disposition in the Office of Nuclear Energy. Wow, okay? So if this guy isn't weird, but J.D. Vance is, then I I think we have to redefine what weird means because this guy had it all. He was allowed to come to work in a dress wearing that ugly-ass red makeup around his mouth. I mean, I, I, somebody had to teach him how to put lipstick on, for goodness sake. He had it all, and he just threw it all away. If you remember the story, he was stealing women's handbags from carousels in airports, and he got caught. He got arrested, and he was charged with the crimes. And it was so much stink that was made about it that they finally had to let him go. They weren't, the Biden administration wasn't going to fire the guy. <laughs> well, Sarah Carter told us J.D. Vance is weird. And then finally, we have Cat Turd, one of my favorite characters on Twitter. I love the guy. And he has a photo saying J.D. Vance is so weird, but he has a photo of Kamala with, I guess it's a drag queen guy, but he doesn't have the weird makeup on. He's in a dress, has women's type hair, but he has a mustache. So, so these are the people that are supposed to be normal. But J.D. Vance, the guy who went to an Ivy League school, became a lawyer, started a business, served as a Marine, he's weird. And so there you have it. I think we can safely say that the Democrats' J.D. Vance's weird shtick fizzled out like everything else they try. It's always said that liberals don't know how to meme, and they don't. And if we saw this as a meme which pretty much it was, as usual, they failed miserably. 
Thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with how weird the Democrats think J.D. Vance is. This is RPW Media. Spread the word. I don't give a damn. I don't really care about you and your problems. I don't give a damn. You talk way too much. I have heard enough about you and your problems. I don't.